Welcome to Practical Research 2. This is Angel Bert Morales, your research teacher. Let's start with the introduction to Practical Research 2. What is Practical Research? Practical Research is from the word re and searcher. Searcher is from France. Re is means repeat looking for something. Meaning, we're going to look for the previous or we're going to repeat the search. Search is also finding the truth, again, about ideas and problems. Meaning to say, all of the things that we are looking for is a previous ideas and problems that we have been encountered. Research is also a tool for solving man's various problem, specifically the unknown problem, the mystery of a certain thing or phenomena. We have to identify what is happening on it. Search is making life more colorful and convenient, meaning to say, research results are satisfied the needs of a human being. We also have satisfaction when a certain device or gadget is implemented for the new era or a generation. Also appreciate the invention or the new discovery of the research. The innovation and advancement of technology or technical engineering or what, even the biotechnology. Research is a purpose of answering question, like our phenomena that is happening today, the bear pandemic, the most famous and very unquestionable happening, the NCOV, the pandemic. We search for the answer. We always searching for it until this time. Research also answer some mystery of the planet earth even the unknown will be known even the impossible can be possible by the research now let's have the comparison of quantitative and qualitative type of research deductive starts with a statement or hypothesis and then tests to see if it's true true observation while inductive reasoning starts with observations and back, moves back towards generalization and theory. Meaning to say, we do statements and hypotheses. Then after that, we do an observation. We check the idea. While in inductive, we observe and then we check the, the generalization of the theory. It is well-known phenomena, while qualitative often study unknown. In this case, we already have the phenomena that is present in a quantitative type of research. While in qualitative type of research, look for the unknown. So meaning, there is already a present data and then we check it again from a quantitative approach. We check it because there is a data already and then we discover what's happening on the phenomena while in the study or the qualitative research we check for the uh, unknown we don't know what's happening but uh, we check it in quantitative approach it is more on a concrete data there's a numerical thing in a concrete data while in a study or in a qualitative type of research, there is no evidence yet, but we're looking into what is happening on a certain study or subject. In quantitative approach, testing of hypotheses and theories. While qualitative type of approach, we have development of hypotheses and theories. Meaning to say, the hypothesis and theories is being tested in quantitative research. While in qualitative type of research, you develop your hypothesis and the theories 
meaning there might be a discovery or a new idea to develop during that time or the hypothesis and theories will be presented after the research of the qualitative type of research. While in quantitative, you don't need to uh, prove if the if or you, you're going to prove rather you're going to prove that the quantitative type of research or the theories and hypothesis is correct quantitative type of research you have to prove it prove the hypothesis and theories while in qualitative you don't need to prove it because you're going to develop Furthermore, a quantitative type of research conducted in controlled setting. While in qualitative type of research, it is naturalistic. If we say controlled setting, there is a limit. There is a total control of the variable. Meaning to say, all of the participant is not affected on the idea of the researcher. They there is no feeding of ideas to the participant. But instead, they're going to say yes or no only without anything. Without saying anything from the yes or no. Say naturalistic setting, it will go smoothly. The subject will continue on his or her activity without any interference or hindrances. He, will, he or she will continue the things that is within the environment. As you can see on the table, in quantitative, we have larger num large number of subjects, while qualitative have smaller number of targeted participants. In quantitative type of research, you have to compute the sample size in order for you to get the number of subjects or the number of participants that will participate to your study. While in qualitative type of research, it can be 1, 2, or even 5, or 3. It depends on the subject matter. Example of smaller number of targeted participants in qualitative type of research is a case study or a narrative. In case study, you can only have one subject, also with the narrative. Another difference is standardized numerical data collection. While in qualitative type of research, we have textual, audio, and visual data collection. In standardized numerical data, those data are very concrete. There is no such manipulation but only on the data that you have gathered. All the data should be in numbers not in text or audio. In qualitative, you have to read a lot of books. You have to listen a lot of audio. You have to look or watch a certain movie or even a video. Aside from it, you have to be very careful with the articles. You have to look some articles. You have to read magazine. You have to read... Uh, the uh, readers suggest you have to read any books that is present with your study. Furthermore, if we say standardized numerical data, it is a result from a survey questionnaire or a checklist. No matter what happened, you have to concentrate on your checklist and to your uh, survey form. There is no, there is no bias. Also, the check checklist or the survey questionnaire is validated by uh, an expert. Next is quantitative and have data gathering first then analyze. While qualitative research, data gathering and anal analysis occur simultaneously. In this case, all of the data in quantitative type of research is then analyzed after the collection and presentation of data and putting it on a table or graph. While in qualitative type of research, uh, uh, within the period of gathering of data and analysis, uh, they analyze it already. So they interpret the data upon the interview 
within the interview, there is an, an immersion of a certain question. And then there might be also some other keywords that have to go on through the study. The subject is might be influences by the researcher, but it is should supposedly not that way. You have to control the bar the subject or the event that is happening during the interview. The researcher should not influence the subject of the study in qualitative type of research as well as with the quantitative. But here, the researcher can somehow influence because this is a qualitative type of research because after having the interview, the interviewee will see the result what's happening on him or her during the interview. They will interpret immediately on the things that's present on the interview. The next comparison is quantitative have statistical analysis while qualitative type of research have content, text, audio, and video. Statistically, an statistical analysis meaning they are using uh, statistical treatment. There is a formula like Pearson R, chi-square, uh, t-test, c-test, mean, mean variation, ANOVA, analysis of variance, or in a higher level, they use multiple regression. They also use statistical programs like SPSS, uh, MATLAB, data analysis uh, apparatus, viewer, and etc. Qualitative type of research only have content, but this is very serious matter. You must have a concrete text, audio, and video so that it will support a concrete evidence of your study. Without this evidence, your research will not be valid because it is a supporting document of your study, especially the text. Text is one of the most important key term of your study in a qualitative type of research. Without this, we cannot say that it is a qualitative type of research. Somehow, they also use a content analysis in qualitative type of research. In qualitative type of research, they also have a grouping of words and then branching it out to have a new data or new word. Quantitative have explore outcomes due to treatments, manipulations, and outcomes, while qualitative explore complex issues and interaction between humans, reason for outcome and processes. We see outcome due to treatment. If you see the data already, we can easily cure it. Just like with the uh, news yesterday in GMA 7, the UP professor said that with the idea of having MECQ have a great impact on the number of infected in pandemic. In fact, there is a decrease in the number of affected in NCOB of manipulation is on financial statement. Suppose a company have 5 years on financial statement. The first 3 years have increasing in financial statement. Then after that, there is a decrease in financial statement. The presenter can cut the 3 years so that Decreasing of financial statement will not seen by the investor or stakeholder. It's the main secret of a manipulation of data. But of course, the data should be concrete and precise. Of course, if you want to get your investor, you have to cut the 3 years only. But if you don't like the investor, you have to show the 5 years financial statement. But, of course, you have to be ready with your bankruptcy and solvency because the news will spread immediately. Quantitative type of research 
there is a complex issue. Meaning to say, you have to be very careful on the ethical issue. It can be on LGBT, on the human interaction, or there are some issues that you have to be very sensitive. There should be a sensitive, uh, sensitivity issues in your study and then you have to be very careful with that or else you will be filed case. Furthermore, there is an interaction between humans in qualitative type of research. That's why there might be some influence of the uh, interference. Some of the person who are in his or her environment can affect the study as well. Furthermore, in qualitative type of research, we do look into the reason for the outcomes and processes. The researcher will check what is happening, why is it this phenomena occur, what is the, this all about. Then from this, the law or the theory is being developed. If there is a new discovery of a certain phenomena occurring in the study. That's all for today folks. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. By the way, this is Angelbert Morales saying goodbye. Like my video, please subscribe and put a comment on the button. You can also ask me to do a certain video for a certain topic. Again, goodbye and see you on the next episode.